How's it going everyone? Coach Javi here. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Still a training session, but we're actually going to be comparing what a professional footballer looks like versus an amateur or a very much less experienced footballer. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We got Georgie Porgy Grinders, who you guys have known, staple of the channel. And we also have my boy Abeda, who isn't very experienced when it comes to football. So we're gonna put them through a few different comparisons. We're gonna do some dribbling, some first touch, some speed and reaction, some passing accuracy. And I wanna leave it up to you guys to see what you think, how they compare, what Georgie does differently versus a beta, what a beta does differently than Georgie. And obviously, if you guys can tell who the uh, professional footballer. So that's gonna be the plan for today's video. This video is also sponsored by Skillshare, a little bit more on that later. But for now, let's get straight into the video. This if I say left, a beta, you're gonna go this way and just side shuffle to this cone. If I say right, you're gonna shut side shuffle to this Wait, cone. so it's the opposite? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right? So it's easy. It's really easy. Ready for this? J just give him an example. Show him an example. No, so, I get it, but it's the opposite. You're gonna win, basically. <laughs> oh, yeah, if he says left, you go right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ready? Left. Good. And then you come back in. Good. Like this. Right! Oh, hey, hey. Right, Georgie! Georgie! <laughs> left! Oh, good. No, good. Good. Right? Yeah, you got it. No, oh, this is left, right? Yeah. Left. Good. Right. Oh. All right, good. So you got it, Aveda? Yeah, yeah. All right, so now that's left, right, up, and down. All right. So this one's up, this one's down. No, you got it. Explain this better. What do you so, mean explain no, to him? No, that makes sense. I can either say left, right, up, or down. If it's up, he goes this way. If it's down, he goes this way. He already knows left is here and right is here. All right. Good. Good. Down. Good, beta. Good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Left. Georgie, come on, man. Wake up back there. Wake up back there, Georgie. Right. Come on, Georgie. Come. Wake up. I don't even Wake up. You're doing that Okay, so left, right, up, down, hot, cold. Hot, cold. Left, right, up, down, hot, cold. So we're here, we're here. Hot! Cold! Left! Come on, Georgie! Right! <laughs> Georgie! Having a nightmare back there! Hot! Oh my god, this is hot. I know. So that was a fun exercise that we've done with the pro team plenty of times. I like it just because it gets them warmed up, but at the same time, it incorporates something that's a little bit fun and gets them to turn on their brains and start mentally getting ready for the session. For the next one, we did a speed and agility. So from now on, you'll actually be able to see Georgie kind of overtake a beta in each exercise just because physically and technically he's much better, obviously him being a professional. So this one is a speed and agility exercise. And as you guys can see, I've slow moded so you can see exactly uh, Georgie's movements versus a beta's movements, how Georgie controls his body, how quickly he can move his feet, his arms in coordination with the rest of his body, and just makes it easier for Georgie to get there faster. Georgie's not actually one of the fastest players on the team. If anything, he's probably one of the slowest, but just the difference between a professional and an amateur you can see right away in the many years that Georgie has been working on his craft. For the next one, we did a dribbling speed one, pretty much just straight through the cones and then some diagonal movements, some figure eight, and then all the way back to the beginning where they leave the ball stopped completely on the line. So again, technically Georgie has just got a lot more years of experience. He's been coached at higher levels, so you can see how he is a lot sharper. His movements are a lot quicker and he's not taking too much space around the cones to control the ball. George, come on. Hey, restart. No, no, restart that. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, we actually have to uh, take a little bit of a break because Abeda is not feeling very well and he's over there throwing up somewhere. So to be honest, it hasn't been a tough session at all, but because he hasn't really done anything, does he even play anymore? He plays sometimes, but like Georgie right now, he's fit and he's, this is like a light session for him. This is like a warm up. And a beta who hasn't played very often, trying to do these at his highest speeds, at highest intensity, 
obviously he's feeling a little bit sick. Bet he didn't have the best breakfast either, or if he ha if he had breakfast at all. Probably not. So we're gonna get Abeda's thoughts real quick when he comes back, and then we'll continue with the uh, with the session. So what did I have for breakfast? Had a Red Bull. Bruh. So it does take many years of perfecting your craft, as you guys can see from Georgie. And uh, speaking of, you know, working on your craft, maximizing your potential and just developing as a person, I think that leads perfectly into today's sponsor. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics such as productivity, freelance and entrepreneurship, film and video, and so many more. The cool thing about Skillshare is that there aren't any ads and new premium classes are always popping up, so you can stay focused and see where your creativity takes you. I'm actually starting a course right now by Keith Yamashita called Storytelling for Leaders, How to Craft Stories That Matter. As you know, a big part of my YouTube videos is how I tell my story. Whether it is a training video or a vlog, I want to make sure that I am conveying the idea in the most informative and entertaining way possible. Keith's course focuses on crafting compelling stories that will matter to my audience. It's also less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. So if this interests you, which it definitely should, go ahead and be one of the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description and you will get a free trial of the premium membership. Thanks again to Skillshare and let's get back to the session. So lastly, we'll finish up with my favorite first touch and passing accuracy. All I'm going to be doing is playing a ball to Georgie and Abeda in that little triangle space. I'm seeing if they can take their first touch within those cones and then on their second touch if they can play a pass into one of the mini goals and obviously be accurate. So we'll start out with a few balls that are on the ground. They're all going to be quite firm and at speed, but then towards the end, I'm just going to hit some impossible balls or that's what I that's what I called them at least when I was doing this exercise with Georgie and Abeda. So just giving them some balls that they would see in games that might be really difficult to control. Uh, and just seeing how quickly they can react, how quickly they can adjust their body and get into position to get a good solid first touch. And this is where you can clearly see Georgie much better than Abeda, just on his toes, understands which body parts he's going to need to activate in order to get a good solid first touch. And Abeda is just kind of all over the place. His touch is a little bit harder and the ball kind of bounces off as if it was a wall as opposed to as if it was like a cushion like Georgie where the ball sticks to his foot. So what are some things that you saw from Georgie that clearly showed he's been coached and developed at a high level? And what are some things that maybe Abeda needs to work on if he wants to improve? Although I do think after this video, he's probably going to retire. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Right, guys so we just concluded the video i hope that it shows the difference between a pro player and an average player i'm average i'm calling myself average not you it just shows how tough it is to stay in top fit shape like george right there i already felt like throwing up which i did throw up and uh i don't think soccer is for me anymore i'm about to retire after this